Hi everyone, my name is Aparna Bhatia and this week's tech tip is about how to add color filters to uh, the based on the length of your walls, okay? So um, in Revit, sometimes you might need to figure out what the lengths of your panels are just so that you can figure out um, maybe the panels are less than 10 feet, maybe you can put them all in one truck, or uh, maybe you want to see which panels uh, you forgot to split, for example. So maybe you have a 30 foot long panel and you want to split it into um, smaller panels and you actually forgot to break down the walls. Um, this is a good way to kind of isolate and find those uh, little uh, issues. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to add a filter to a Revit view uh, so that uh, you can filter your walls by their length. Okay. So here we are going to go to visibility graphics. This is my plan view. It has a few walls. Um, and we're going to go to visibility graphics and go to filters. We're going to click on add filters. Okay. So right now I don't have any new filters created. The interior one is given by default, um, from Revit. So, uh, we're not going to use that one. We're going to create a new one. So when we're trying to create a new, uh, view template, we can click, uh, either duplicate, sorry for this. Um, we can click duplicate. That's fine. And then over here. Uh, we can select our walls. So right now it seems to have a uh, wall selected, but if I hide uncheck categories, I'll actually see what else is selected, right? So I'm going to uncheck everything except for walls. I'll keep only the walls, uh, selected here. Um, and what I'll also do is I'll rename this filter and I'll call it walls less than, than 10 feet. Uh, walls less than 10 feet. It's easy to understand. So that's my uh, name for the filter. Uh, and over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find the length uh, parameter because that's what we want to isolate, right? And then over here uh, in the equals functionality, I'm going to set up, uh, I'm going to set up something called is less than and equal to. So if walls are 10 feet, 10 feet in length, they will also get the, uh, the same filter will apply to that as well. Okay, so if they're 10 foot on the dot, I will just type 10 feet here uh, and I'll uh, leave it at that. And then what I can do is I'm going to create another filter or a duplicate of this filter. And what I will say for that, I'll call that one is I'll rename it um, and I'll call it 10 feet to 20 feet uh, in length. So if it is between instead of less than, I'll say between. Uh, between 10 to 20 feet in length, uh, I will click on that filter. Uh, what I will basically do with this one is, oops, forgot to apply it. So when I copied it, it didn't copy the functionalities, but it's okay. Um, so what we'll do is, uh, say, uh, yes, we'll only select the walls. Um, and then over here, what we're going to do is we're going to again, find ourselves length and we'll say is greater than 10 feet, because we already covered 10 feet in the previous filter. We're going to add another rule uh, using the add rule button here. And again, we're going to find length and we're going to say is less than and equal to 20 feet. You'll repeat the same steps for uh, 20 to 30 feet if you uh, need to. So I'm just going to do that uh, and we'll get back to the tech tip. So now that I've created that last filter uh, really quick, um, I basically duplicated it and added these numbers. So, uh, I updated those and I'll just hit okay here. Now, if I want to add all three filters to this view, I'll just control, hold down the control key and select all three filters and I'll hit okay. These filters, the order of the filters does matter. So whatever, once it hits, uh, the filter that matches that criteria, or once the wall matches that criteria and it's applied the filter, it won't continue on and apply more filters to it. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Um, so over here, we're going to just go ahead and set up a color for our 10 foot walls. So we're going to set it up to be uh, green in color because it's not that critical for 10 foot, 10 foot walls. We want them to be green. Uh, then for the 20 foot walls, we're going to have them be, uh, orange. They're kind of critical, not that much. So 20 foot and, uh, between 10 to 20 is, uh, orange. And then for 20 to 30, we're going to make it red. Okay. So I'm going to apply the same color filters uh, over here or the patterns over here. 
All right, so now that the colors are added for all uh, the projection patterns and the cut patterns, we are just going to hit uh, OK. And here you'll notice that your walls got colored with the different colors that we created. Now if I select this wall and I copy it up, I'm just going to test it out, okay? So if I if my wall is 10 feet, which we already have here, it's going to be green. So we know that already. How about 10 foot 1, right? So when we create it as a 10, oops, sorry, 10 foot 1, um, when we created a 10 foot 1, it's actually orange. So that's correct. It's greater than 10. Now, if we are going to do 20 feet 1 inch, um, what does it do? It turns it red. So that's basically how you will add colors, um, color filters to your wall panels. And that's it for this week's tech tip. Have a great day.